Hi. Yeah, Peter Brewitt again. And uh, I want to just give you an introduction. As we were talking last time about change, I want to give an idea of this is a garage. This is a garage that needs change. <laughs> now, the structures can't be changed. It's a double garage. Of course it can be changed. You can build on it. You can knock out the wall to my daughter's room and say, you're not going to have a bathroom anymore. We're going to actually, yeah, I'm going to put a hole in the garage wall and then I'll have a, another access to her bathroom. <laughs> uh, maybe it'll be a walk-in shower from here. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but no, but I just want to use the garage as our picture site. Uh, and it's not necessarily it's not really a working, you're, you're not going to do a lot in here. I can do some videos and shoot some videos in here, but as far as, uh, you're not going to construct a table, you're not going to build something. Actually, you know what I was just thinking? If I could clean it up, we might be able to have a billiard table in here. Now, there's a motive for change. <laughs> there's a motive for cleaning up something. There you go. Something that... Now, there's a hum, that's a humdinger of an idea. Now, that would be a great Christmas present. Christmas is 58 days away. That would be a great Christmas present that I could enjoy, a billiard table. A little cool right now in the winter, but, you know, I can put a coat on and shoot pool. <laughs> Maybe you can come over. But what I mean is, is <laughs> this is totally off topic. I, <laughs> I wanted to use the garage as a metaphor as an idea where we can think about change in ourselves. So this will be the backdrop for a few videos. And uh, if you think it's messy now, uh, tell me, don't show me the rest of the garage. If you're one of these perfectionists, everything has a place in it and there's a place for everything in your garage, you don't want to see mine and I'm not going to show you. <laughs> but you see, that's something... That is, uh, but, but when it comes to changing yourself, that's a different picture. That's a different picture altogether. See, this garage is used by four or five people. Not all of them live in this house. <laughs> so if, if I wanted to change something here, I'm in trouble right off the bat. Uh, <laughs> this area is not touchable. Not touchable. Don't touch it. I mean, I can use some tools, but i got to put them back. Don't touch it. That's my son's area, and he's a great job at it. There's uh, a whole bunch of stuff on a shelf over in the, in the far corner. The other corner you can't see in a camera on purpose. Uh, and that corner, and that's all Christmas stuff. Uh, i got my filing cabinet over there. Uh, that's a lot of stuff over there. Tax information for the last few years. All kinds of stuff, you know. We've got desks and chairs and a fridge and every somebody else's furniture in here. We've you know we got all kinds of stuff. But change. Think about it. What do you want to change in your life? That's what I'm talking about. Some things will never change. You know, I may never get rid of these bags under my eyes. So I always go on planes and I take them with me, but I never leave them. I never leave them behind. You know. Uh, well, you know, you want to improve how you look. Well, you may be on the outside, but what do you look like on the inside? That's the kind of change I'm talking about. Anyhow, Peter Bird from Brampton, just a short video to say, let's look at the garage idea, cleaning up a garage, or cleaning up the garage of your life. See you on the next time.